Roadblock in the Missouri governor's plan to repair dangerous bridges. It was the topic of a seven hour long filibuster that lasted until two this morning. While lawmakers fight, some St. Louis County residents say they don't feel safe. News 4's Ray Preston went to an area using a bridge that appears to be crumbling before their very eyes. If there's a poster child for bad bridges, this bridge at 270 and New Florissant could be it. Now check out those screens up there in the rafters, if you will. Crews installed those years ago to prevent any concrete from falling off the bridge onto the cars or people walking below. About 100 yards up the road is Renee Gaines Hair Salon. She opened up eight years ago and the bridge has only gotten worse. It's very frustrating, you know, because like I say, you know, it's been going on for years. I would hate to be at work and see something. Uh, so a catastrophe happened like that, you know. Mordot lists page after page of bridges in need of repair. Maps show poor or deteriorating bridges with additional weight restrictions are spread across the state. The governor has proposed using bond money to fund repairs. Lake St. Louis State Senator Bob Onder was one of the lawmakers opposing the Parson plan, describing it as putting the cost on a credit card. It scares me half to death. Rosita Lewis drives over this bridge on her way to work. She says she would pay more in gas taxes to pay for bridge and road repair. And for those who would vote no. I understand that because I don't make tons of money either, but it's the sacrifice we make for the future of others and for us right now. We have to do that. We, we're at that point. Missouri has the seventh largest system of roads and bridges, but comes in 46th in funding. MoDOT says it must prioritize its work until lawmakers can figure out a way to pay for the upkeep and repair, the deterioration, and the problem is only going to continue to get worse. In North St. Louis County, Ray Preston, News 4.